good, y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's Kills, and we back with another reaction video. Now, like I said from yesterday, I'm going to react to part two of this. Uh, the girl with the crib, they be, they be following. You know so the first part, now, that shit was funny. That shit was funny. Nigga did hit 400 subscribers, nigga. Nigga hit 400 subscribers, nigga. Clap it up. But, uh, yeah, we gonna get straight into this video. Like I said, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Wanna check this out, you know what I'm saying? But if you say, we gonna get straight into this video, y'all. Yeah. Damn, yeah, bro, that shit crazy. Yo, imagining you going to the gym, right? Just minding your own business. And a dude is What's standing up? close to throw one to you. Ready to start some drama. I'm sorry to fuck with. This is the well waited for and anticipated girl with the crypt baby father. Part two. Starts now. Yo, please continue to follow this me nigga on intro Twitch, cold, yo, bro. From Discord and follow my second comedy gaming channel, bro. Link is in the description. What's up? <sighs> yo, we had a winter storm, so I was kind of not able to do anything because we ain't had no electricity. Right. But your boy is back. It was cold as shit. Story time number 28. The girl with the crib, baby father, part two. Yo, you want to tell us your stories? Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Yeah, listen to what he said. Click the link in the description. But anyway, I'm not going to do too much of the going around because you guys already know if you have not seen part one, please make sure you click the little thing up in the top. Also note that all my stories are true stories and they're based on true stories. There's no cap here. I promise y'all. But let's go ahead and get straight to what happened last episode. All right, so your boy was chilling at the gym and I wound up meeting this shorty. She was a real cute girl. She ain't had much body though, but whatever. Anyway, me and her wound up kicking it. I wound up going over to her house with that invite. You know what I'm saying? Wound up smashing, but had somebody bang at the door. We go outside. There was nobody there. Next thing you know, a couple hours later, I got a random phone call from somebody I didn't know. Guess what they said? Hey, yo, what's cracking, cuz? Yo, you sleeping with my baby mama? I'm sorry to fuck with you. Yo, where you live at, cuz? Address and she let me move in. <laughs> Alright, all right, so that's how you want to play these games, huh, cuz? Alright, so I read your messages and I know what you look like. I know what side of Antioch you want and I know what gym you go to, nigga. Sir, sir. Sir? Ain't no sir, cuz. Yo, when I see you, I'm running your pockets. It's 833. Alright, keep thinking this is some type of game, nigga. Hey, look, you thinking somebody's playing with you? I didn't care. We're gonna see how many jokes you're gonna have when we got them pinpointers on your head, nigga. At this point, I put the phone. Yo, keep running your mouth. Bro, it's, keep running your mouth. It's 36 now. It's too early all for right. all of this. All right. So, not gonna lie. Um, I wasn't really comfortable with the fact that he knew so much about me, but I didn't even know what this guy looked like. I didn't even know that she had kids before I got to our house, but I didn't think that deep into it anyway. So I tried to go to sleep. After about 10 minutes, I gave up that idea with knowing that a black ashy dude is after me. So I decided to call my granddad. Boy, what the hell did you want? I'm busy. Boy, how can you ain't even tell me how your grades was? Is everything going good over there? Yeah, my grades is fine. That's not why I'm calling you. Boy, I can't hear you, man. I'm over here trying to do the damn lawn. Can't you see the lawn move? Oh, that sounded like a leaf blow up button, but okay. Well, what the hell are you talking to? They both do great. All right, all right. That's something I wanted to tell you. I had sex with some random girl and now her baby father after me. Yo, baby father asked me. I don't know what the hell to do. How'd you look? She wanted to know. She been messing with you. Why? 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 Okay. She's been saying this shit. Sugar mama. Ha! <laughs> uh, Pop, I'm trying to talk to you. Boy, you know I can't hear you with this thing on. Why did you turn it back on? Let me see. I'm trying to do. I can't hear you, boy. Oh, damn well I don't know how to use this phone. Yo, what the hell are you doing? Yep, he hung up on me. Dead serious. Exactly how that happened. But anyway, I wound up getting a text message from her asking to meet up. I want the damn chance in hell that I was going to hang out with her, knowing that her baby father's after me right now, and I have no idea who it is. But anyway, so instead of me going to the gym with my normal patterns like I usually do, 
I decided to just kind of minimize and randomize the pattern at this if point. If you've lived in Antioch, do you know Long Tree Way outside of private areas, like private apartments? There's only one gym smack dab in the middle, and that's the in shape gym off of Long Tree Way, right? So I would go there because there was nothing else for me to do, and that was the only thing that I like to do anyway. While still working out, I happened to see her a couple times. The first time I saw her, she didn't say anything to me. But the second time I saw her, I just couldn't take my eyes off of what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't help myself. You know, I, I just couldn't, bro. She was the only girl I was hitting at the time. Plus, I told y'all, like, it wasn't the fact that she was thick or anything. Like, she had smooth, soft skin. She had a soft butt. And, and it was just the ex. Bro, it was the position. She was so flexible. I get She was flexible, guys. So, we wound up going at it in the parking lot. I, I, I feel like y'all gonna judge me at this point, but I really... I, I don't care. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I honestly don't give a shit. But anyway, the, the, after we did it, that's when she kind of made it awkward for me. So why don't we gotta be more than this? Oh, bitch. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought we had an understanding. Excuse me. Uh, what type of understanding? She knew someone. We ain't talking a week. Someone was new to you. Yeah, just organic. Oh, what do you expect? We don't even talk like that no more. And whose fault is that? Your psychotic background. Boy, that is all you. Are you serious? You got too much drama going on anyway. Okay, be like that then. Not quite okay. Easy. What the hell was she mad Okay. For? Even Netflix don't have contract agreements. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask about him. Yeah, I kind of forgot to ask about the baby father and what was going on with all of that. But nonetheless, I wound up driving off. I was annoyed anyway. So from this day forward, I was your boy was kind of paranoid. Not gonna lie, I was watching my bag at all times until one day. Hello. Yeah, yo, cuz, so you gonna tell me where you live at? Yo, stop calling my phone, bro. You said you know exactly yo, what gym I went to. Why haven't you pulled up yo, yet? Yo, you such a hoe ass. Yo, stop being a hoe. Yo, listen, cuz, until you figure it out, bro, you call me back, cuz. Like, I, I ain't got time. Hanging you hanging up now. Hanging up. Hello? 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 What's well, something I need to talk to you about? Are you free tonight? Uh, sure. If you want to meet at the gym tonight. Damn, boy. What? He pissed me off, okay? <laughs> He pissed me off. So after this, it took about a good two weeks more of harassment, random phone calls, threats, text messages. He, uh, it was it was a lot going on. But nonetheless, we're going to get straight to the day. I came walking out to the gym one random day. What's crack? You cause you thought I wouldn't see you? Uh, I'm sorry, what you talking Man, about? Man, don't play dumb with us, cuz. Got all that mouth like you did on the phone, huh, cuz? No clue what to do at this point. Oh, What's cracking with you, cuz? Come with us down the road real quick. Then out of nowhere, one of his friends started walking from my right. What so pretty much the fuck? Was walk get dragged. <sighs> so, I decided to walk. Well, you got me fucked up after I dragged your <laughs> shit, nigga. <laughs> got my ass whooped, no, no. The phone and cocoon <laughs> mode actually <laughs> worked. Pretty sure it happened the way you guys expect. <laughs> he didn't have no gun, so I respect that part. But he didn't fight me on his own, so I couldn't respect that. There was one thing that was confirmed. He definitely was ashy. That's ashy a bitch ass, ass nigga, man. In the car, drove off, and I was pretty much in pain. One random guy in the gym, he called the police. The police brought the ER guys. They all looked at me. The cop asked me a bunch of questions. I ain't see shit. I ain't know what the hell was going on. And at this point, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I had no way to get back at this dude. Way outnumbered. And I ain't from here, so I couldn't jump him back. Back. I had one better plan. So you ready? I, know I, am. I also didn't <laughs> have no insurance. <laughs> okay. So I monetized the P Hub webpage with right his baby mom. So do you want some money? Huh? What type of man would I be to turn that down? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> had to pay my medical bill somehow. Oh, I'm petty, nigga. This nigga dope, bro. Yeah, just to let y'all know, we have the Hello Collection series, the I'm Sorry to Fuck What series. We have Majin Petty. We have a lot of different new sets on the website at itspettygang.com. Please support your boy and buy the merch. Damn, bro. This nigga, this nigga dumb as fuck, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I probably, I probably would do the same thing. I ain't gonna lie. What I? Hell no, nah, I'm lying. I don't. I don't think.
think I even be cut in that situation, my nigga. I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe. Who knows? You know. Anything can happen. But you know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoyed the video. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Post the notifications because I will be posting weekly. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave a link in the description when you want to check this out. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram too, nigga. Come on, bro. Ah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Peace out, nigga.